Hello, and welcome back to a Yoga Teacher Reviews Books About Yoga. Today we have something kind of different because this isn't actually a book about yoga. Today I'm reviewing Chloe, which the cover just says Chloe, which, you know, is like the name of the book and the name of the author, but the spine says Chloe, strong looks better naked. So like I said, it's not exactly a yoga book, but it talks about health in kind of a holistic way, incorporating mindfulness and exercise and lifestyle and food. So I thought that it was sort of, you could apply this using yoga basically because she talks about how it doesn't really matter exactly what type of exercise you do, just find something that you love and do that. So you could have yoga in mind when reading this book. I'll just come right out and say that this book isn't really <laughs> The best book as in it's a celebrity book obviously it was written with a ghostwriter it's a little bit of a memoir and a little bit of a self-help how-to book but here's the thing i love chloe kardashian and so i like this book but i think that if you love chloe kardashian you would also really like this book this is obviously a book for kardashian fans and i do think it has some broader appeal to people who aren't necessarily fans but who like self-help health fitness wellness type books so I've dog-eared two pages here, and one was her playlists of music to sweat to. I appreciated that. I always am looking for good song recommendations that are specific. And then I'd also bookmarked, she has some recipes in here. A lot of them aren't very exciting. Um, they're fine. Like the Kris Jenner cocktail is just vodka, diet, tonic, and lime. So, you know, they're not all that interesting. But the one that I had dog-eared here is a lentil salad which is a chilled salad made with Persian cucumbers, Granny Smith apple, fresh cilantro, jalapeno, cooked lentils, olive oil, salt, and pepper. And I thought that sounded really good. Obviously it has a lot of photos, glam shots, quotes, because Chloe loves quotes. If you follow her on Instagram, you know that, posting quotes all the time. Obviously they had to do like a sexy photo shoot. So there is kind of a center fold type situation with photos. But then there's also other just kind of like sillier or fun photos with her family throughout, such as this with her of her with her brother Rob. I actually remember this episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. <laughs> so you can tell I'm a fan, so I like this book. But I wouldn't say go out and buy this book unless self-help, health, wellness, kind of fitnessy book memoir type things are your genre, even if you don't really love the Kardashians, then I think you would like this. And I do have to give Chloe some credit because I think that even though obviously she worked with a ghostwriter, this is probably one of the better celebrity books that I've read. I just really like Chloe, so I have a lot of good stuff to say about her, obviously. Let's talk about the contents. It starts with a little intro, and then part one is called Body, part two is called Mind, and part three is called Heart. Subsections are in Body, part, chapter one is Exercise, and chapter two is Food, and then in part two, which is Mind, the first chapter is get your head on straight and the second chapter is make the best of everything. And then part three, heart, the first chapter is the only chapter and it's called be mindful. So like I said, it could kind of be applied to yoga if that was sort of your main mode of health and wellness and being. She talks a lot about food in an interesting way that I think is good and bad at the same time. For example, in the food section, there's a part that's called, are you really truly hungry? which I would say they're a little bit too obsessed with being skinny and probably don't eat enough. But on the other hand, she is talking about it from a mindfulness perspective and an emotional perspective. So she's saying, are you really hungry or are you just eating emotionally? But it could be taken to the extreme and you know closer towards an eating disorder. So I don't love that. But overall, I really like this book. It's just kind of a nice, upbeat, positive book about dealing with hardships by turning to taking care of yourself, which obviously I can get behind, and exercise. She really loves exercise and promotes it, again, I like I said before, in any form that you want. So she doesn't like yoga or do yoga, actually, but I'm still including this on my yoga book reviews because I have this on my yoga bookshelf because it's a fitness kind of book. I do like it. I do recommend it. I wouldn't say run out there and buy it. You can probably get it secondhand. If you've read this, let me know what you think. I'd love to know. Do you love or hate the Kardashians? They really inspire... Um, love and hatred and nothing in between. I love them. I know they have a lot of problems, obviously, as does everyone, and they might have more than others. But anyways, I do recommend this book, but it's not like the best book you'll ever read. It's just an easy read that is kind of light and gets you motivated to kind of 
get back on track with healthy eating and exercising. So I think that's a net positive. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll talk to you again soon.